Good afternoon students. Yesterday we saw in exercise 4.2, 6 sums we solved. Today we are going to see the 7th sum. What are the 7th sum says? Two concentric circles are of radii 5 cm and 3 cm. Find the length of the chord of the bigger circle which touches the smaller circle. So, what we take is that let C1 be the smaller circle and C2 be the bigger circle. There is a chord. Chord is for the bigger circle. So I am going to draw chord A, B to the bigger circle such that it touches the smaller circle C1 at P. And he tells us to find out what is the length of this chord AB? Okay. So, C1 is the smaller circle, C2 is the bigger circle. Radius of the smaller circle is given and radius of the bigger circle is given. Okay. You have to find out what is the length of the chord. So, for this what we have to do is that we have to join OP and we have to join OB. So C1 and C2 are the two concentric circles which center O. AB is a chord which touches the circle C1 at P. So this is given. OP and OB should be joined. So OP became the radius of the smaller circle. OB became the radius of the bigger circle. And one thing we know. Chord that is AB is a chord and OP is the radius. So chord drawn from the center. That is chord, uh, AB if you take a uh, chord. And if you draw a line from center to that chord. For, for the circle C2, what happens? It bisects the chord. Means AP is equal to PB. So, if I take OPB as a right angle triangle, I can use a Pythagoras theorem. PB I can find. I know that AP is equal to PB. Means twice PB will become AB. So, I will get the length of AB. So, here what is important? The perpendicular line and the chord Okay, so the perpendicular and they are perpendicular to each other. That will help us to find out that it bisects the chord. So I can say AP is equal to twice AB or PB is equal to twice AB. Anyway, I can show that uh, P is the midpoint of AB. So how we will start the solution? So first we will write it down. Which are the two circles? Okay, C1 is the smaller circle and C2 is the bigger circle with common with the common center O. C1 and C2 are concentric circles. AB is a chord. AB is a chord for bigger circle C2 and touches the circle C1 at P. So, for circle C1 AB is tangent 
So this is very important. So C1 is a smaller circle, C2 is a bigger circle with common center O. C1 and C2 are concentric circles. That is why they got a common center. AB is the chord for the bigger circle, C2, and touches the circle C1 at P. So for circle C1, AB is the tangent. Then what you have to do? Join OP and OB. OP is the radius of the smaller circle and OB is the radius of the bigger circle that is C over here. Now we know that OP that is for a smaller circle C1, OP is the radius and AB is the tangent. Radius and tangent are perpendicular to each other. So what will happen at the OP we will become how much? 90 degree. So OP perpendicular to AB radius and tangent are per are perpendicular for circle C1. Therefore, angle OPB is equal to 90 degrees. OP, smaller circle radius, OP is equal to 3 cm and OB is equal to 4 cm. In triangle, OPB, angle OPB is equal to 90 degree. Therefore, applying the Pythagoras theorem, OB square is equal to OP square plus PB square. OB is already given to you. What is OB? It is 4 square is equal to 3 square plus PB square. So what PB square will become? PB square is equal to 4 square minus 3 square. 4 square is how much? 16. 3 square is how much? 9. So, 16 minus 9. So, 16 minus 9 is 7. So, you got a PB square is equal to 7. So, PB is equal to root of 7. So, PB you got it as root of 7. So, we know that OP is the radius and AB is a. So, AB is a chord for circle C2 and OP is drawn. So, what we can say? OP bisects AB. So, OP bisects AB in circle C2. Therefore, AB is equal to PB is equal to twice AB. So that is equal to 2 into root 7. That is what the, uh, what to call it as a, the length of the chord over here. So came to know how to do it. So C1 is a smaller circle and C2 is a bigger circle. Okay. Which center O. C1 and C2 are the concentric circles. AB is the chord. Okay. Uh, AB is a part for a bigger circle uh, C2 and touches the circle C1 at P. So for C1 circle, AB became the tangent. Join OP and OB. OB is the radius of the bigger circle and OP is the radius of the smaller circle. And we know that for circle C1, OP is the radius and AB is the tangent. So they become perpendicular to each other. So angle OPB will become 90 degrees. OP is 3 cm and OB is 4 cm. So, we will take it uh, right angle triangle. There is in right angle triangle OPB. Angle OPB is equal to 90. So, we will take Pythagoras theorem. So, OB square is equal to OP square plus PB square. So, OB square is 4 square is equal to 3 square plus PB square. 4 square is 16. 3 square is right. You got it as 7. PB is equal to root of 7. OP bisects AB in circle C2. So, OP is perpendicular line for the chord AB. So, it bisects. So, AP is equal to PB is equal to twice AB. That is equal to 2 root 7 centimeters. So, this is how we have to solve problem number 7. 
Let us see sum number 8. What is given in sum number 8? A quadrilateral ABCD is drawn to circumscribe a circle. Prove that AB plus CD is equal to AD plus BC. So you can see the figure given over here. Circumscribe means what? To the, uh, the, the quadrilateral should be drawn to a circle in such a way that the sides of the quadrilateral should touch the circle at one and one point. Means the sides of the quadrilateral should become tangent to the circle. It is called as circumscribed. Okay. Now you can see here A, B, C, D. What it is? A quadrilateral. So first what we will write it out? A, B, C, D is A, is a quadrilateral. Lateral. Okay. Now, AB is side, BC, CD and DA. AB is tangent for the circle, BC is tangent for the circle, CD is tangent for the circle and DA is tangent for the circle. So, AB, BC, CD, DA. Sides are tangents to the circle at which point? At P, Q, R and S respectively. Why we write always respectively means for A, B, P is the point of contact. For B, C, Q is the point of contact. For C, D, R is the point of contact. For D, A, S is the point of contact. So we write it down as respectively. So now in the diagram you can see A has become the external point for the circle and AP and AS are the tangents from the external point. So what we can say tangents from external point are equal. Again you can see B also has become an external point for the circle. BP and BQ are the uh, ta tangents. They are also equal. C has become the external point. CR and CQ are also the tangents drawn from the same external point. They are also equal. D has become the, what to call it as, the uh, external point. But DR and DS are also equal because tangents drawn from external point are equal. So we are going to get four equations with A as external point, B as external point, C as external point and D as external point. So I have divided the whole what to call it as four. four. First equation 1, 2. Here first and second equation will be there. 3, 4. So here equation 3 and here equation 4 will be there. Fifth I am going to add all these equations and what result I will get that I will show. And the last over here, this gap that is the sixth gap I have kept over here because to show you the hint how the movement takes place which will be very easy to remember how we have to take the tangents. So first equation we will write it up. AP is equal to AS. So AP is equal to AS. This is equation number one. Reason is what? Tangents drawn from external point. Which is external point? External point A. Cut. Now we will go to second equation. We will take B as the external point. So what we will, what we will get? Uh, we will get it as BP and BQ or PB and BQ. It is one and the same. So we will take it as BP is equal to BQ. That is your equation number 2. Reason why? Because what is the reason? Tangents drawn from external point. So tangents drawn from external point B. Okay. Now I told you BP and PB are same but I have taken BP over here. In the hint I will show you why I have taken BP because the movement will help you to remember the, the hint which I am going to give you that if it will help you to remember how to write down the first, second, third and fourth equation. So BP is equal to BQ. Okay, correct it is. Now we will go to third. Third what we are going to take? C. 
So C is excellent point. So I am going to take it as CR is equal to CQ. I will explain why I took CR. So CR is equal to CQ. So CR is equal to CQ. So this is your equation number 3. So what is the reason? Same. Tangents from external point. Which is external point? External point C. Now we will go to the last external point D. DR is equal to DS. So DR is equal to DS. This is your equation number 4. What, what is the reason? Tangents from external point which is the external point D. So they are equal. Now we got all the four equations. 1, 2, 3 and 4. So we are going to add. So what we are going to do? Adding equation 1, equation 2, equation 3 and equation 4. So when we are adding equation, what I told you? Left hand side should be added with left hand side. So first equation, what is the left hand side? AP. So AP. Adding with what sign? Plus. Second equation, what is there on left hand side? BP. So BP. Third equation, what is on left hand side? CR. So CR. Fourth equation, what is there on left hand side? DR. So DR. So once again, all the left hand side's equation, that is whatever is there, the left hand side term I have taken. First equation, left hand side term is AB. I am going to add a plus. Second, uh, second equation left hand term is BP, BP plus third equation left hand term is CR, CR plus fourth equation left hand term is DR is equal to. Now I will take all the right hand side of the equation. First equation right hand side is what? AS. So AS. What I am going to do? Add a plus. What is the second in second equation right hand side? BQ. So I have taken BQ plus add it. Third equation, what is on the right hand side? CQ. Plus. Fourth equation, what is there on the right hand side? DS. So, came to know. Now, see in the diagram. AP and BP together. That is, AP is a line segment, BP is a line segment. When we add these two line segments, we get the side of the quadrilateral AB. So, these together will give the side of the quadrilateral AB. See CR and DR, they are also uh, parts of a line CD, that is side CD. So CR plus DR is equal to CD, so I will get it as CD over here. Then see AD, AD is made up of AS and DS, AS and DS together will make AD. In this you can see AS is here, DS is there. So what we have to do, AS and DS we have to keep together, then only we will get side AD. BQ and QC or CQ are together. So we got a side BC. So what I am going to do? Again I am going to write the equation and put AS and DS together. So I can get the side, which side? AD. So AS plus DS plus BQ plus CQ. So now AP plus BP I am going to put a bracket because it is going to give me one side. CR plus DR is going to give me the other side of the quadrilateral. AS and DS is going to give me the third side of the quadrilateral. BQ and CQ the other side. For us what is proved AB? So I told you AP plus BP is AB. So I got it as AB. Then what side is that? Plus. CR plus DR what side I am going to get? CD. So plus CD is equal to. AS plus DS, what side it is? Side AD plus BQ plus CQ, what side it is? Side BC. So I am able to prove that AB plus CD is equal to AD plus BC. This is what how we have to uh, find out the proof that AB plus CD is equal to AD plus BC. So this is very simple. Nothing is there. ABCD is a quadrilateral. Yes, ABCD is a quadrilateral. Side AB B, C, C, D and D, A are the tangents to the circle at which point? P, Q, R and S. 
A became external point, B became external point, C became external point, D became external point for the circle. So we know that theorem 4.2 Tangents drawn from external points are equal. So first equation I am actually going to write down. AP is equal to AS. The reason is tangents drawn from external point A. Second I am going to write it down. BP is equal to BQ because what it is? The tangents drawn from external point B. Third equation I am going to write it down as CR is equal to CR is equal to CQ because tangents drawn from external point C. Fourth equation I am going to write it down as dr is equal to ds tangents drawn from external point d. So what I am going to do, I am going to add all these equations. To add the equations, I told you left hand side should be added to left hand side. So ap, first equation ap is in left hand side, so ap plus. In second equation bp is on the left hand side, so plus bp. It plus. In third equation cr is in left hand side, so cr. Then plus. In fourth equation, dr is in the left hand side, so dr. So I got ap plus bp plus cr plus dr by adding all the left hand side of the equation 1, equation 2, equation 3 and equation 4. Now, now is equal to, now what we have to take all the right hand side of the equation. In first equation, right hand side is as, so as plus. In second equation, right hand side is bq. So plus BQ. In third equation right hand side is CQ. So plus CQ. In fourth equation right hand side is DC. So plus DS. But you can see here. AS and DS should be kept together. What is the reason? Because we should get AD. So AS and DS are kept together. BQ and CQ will give me the side BC. Now we will see. AP and BP is going to give me one side. So I have put it in the bracket. Because it gives me the side AB. CR and DR together gives me the side CD. So I have put in the bracket CD and what sign is that plus AB plus CD. So AB plus CD is equal to AS and DS I have put together because it gives me the side AD. So AS plus DS AD. So I want it is equal to AD plus plus sign is there. BQ plus CQ I have kept here together to get the side BC. BC. So AB plus CD is equal to AD plus BC. So AB plus CD is equal to AD plus BC. So this is how we have proved. Now I told you I am going to show you the hint. What hint it is? So let us see. Now AP is equal to AS. Look over here. AP. So I am going, I am going, I am moving in which side? Right hand side movement. So always remember first the right hand side movement should come. AP is equal to AS. Okay. Then, next equation is what? BP is equal to BQ. So, it's a reverse movement. Means, which side? Opposite side. BP. So, it is moving on the left hand side. So, the movement is this way. So, BP is equal to BQ. Next, what is given? CR is equal to CQ. CR is equal to CQ. So you can see CR. Okay. So it is also towards which side? It is towards the left hand side. So it is. So it will come in this direction. The fourth equation says that DR is equal to DS. So CR is on the left hand side movement and DR is in the right hand side movement. That means AP and BP are in opposite direction. So first you take AP in right hand side, immediately you come to BP. If you take AP, what that you should be knowing with AP which should come AS. So AP and AS will come. If you move BP on the, what you call it as left hand side, then BQ will come. So BP is equal to BQ. Again CR you are going to move on the left hand side, with CR what is going to come? CQ. DR you are going to move in right hand side, with the DR what is going to come? DS. So, AP and BP are in opposite direction movement. What it is? Uh, that is uh, right side and left side. CR and DR are in opposite movement. Left side and right side. With that, what, are, what is the other equal tangent that you should be knowing? So, easy to remember. AP, BP, CR, DR. They are all in opposite directions. So, you, it is very easy to write down this. Then for adding it will be also very easy. And you can prove that AB plus CD is equal to AD plus BC. So, this is the hint I have given to make you to remember from the diagram 
which uh, should come on the left hand side and which should come on the right hand side. Let us see problem number 9. What is the problem number 9 says? In figure xy and x dash y dash are two parallel tangents to a circle with center O. So you can see here xy and x dash y dash are parallel lines. They are tangent to the circle with center O. And P is the point of contact for XY and Q is the point of contact for X dash Y dash. Then what he says? And another tangent, there is one more tangent to that same circle AB. Such that it touches the tangent XY at A and touches the tangent X dash Y dash at B. With the point of contact uh, and other than the point of contact C. So here you can see that this is the point of contact of tangent AB at C. That means P is the point of contact for tangent XY. Q is the point of contact for tangent X dash Y dash. C is the point of contact for tangent AB. You have to prove uh, and you have to prove that angle AOB. Angle A O B. This is right angle triangle you have to prove. So what you have to prove? To prove this, we cannot prove with this diagram. We have to join. So very important thing what we are going to do. We are going to join O C. Unless and until we don't join O C, we are not able to, what we are, we are not able to calculate what is angle A O B. Okay. Now you pay attention here. What we have written down in a given xy and x dash y dash are the two tangents at P and Q for the circle with center O. So given xy and x dash y dash are two tangents. At P and Q for, for circle with, with center O. So this is very important. One more tangent is at yes, that also we have to write it down. So AB is the tangent to same circle at C and touches tangent XY at A and X dash Y dash at B. So this is what is given to you. XY, X dash Y dash are the two tangents. At P and Q, means P and Q are the point of contact which sent with two, for a circle with center O. AB is another tangent to the same circle at C and touches tangent XY, it is at, uh, XY touches the tangent at A and X dash Y dash it touches the tangent at B. Now, what we have to prove? We have to prove that. Uh, to prove. What we have to prove? To prove that. Angle AOB is equal to 90 degree. So I have divided into parts because we are going to compare the triangles in the proof. So proof what we are going to take is first triangle OPA and triangle AOC. We are going to prove that they are congruent. In second triangle BOC and triangle BOQ, we are going to prove that they are congruent. Okay. Reason is that. Now let us take triangle AOP and triangle AOC. Now OP is the radius and XY is the tangent. So this angle is 90 degree. Here OC is the radius, AB is the tangent, this angle is 90 degree. So angle OPA is equal to angle OCA is equal to 90 degree. Correct. So we are going to prove that they are congruent. So we have to take 
the postulate. So, right angle hypotenuse postulate I am going to take. OA is the common hypotenuse and common sides are equal. So, OA is equal to OA. Then, OP is equal to OC. Correct? Yes, OP is equal to OC because they have the same circle. Therefore, triangle APO is common to triangle ACO. That means what happens? The triangle, which angles will become equal? The what will become? Angle POY will be equal to angle YOC. Correct? So, I can say that both are equal means uh, you can see that angle POY and angle YOC is both together I get angle POC. So, I can say that angle POC is equal to twice angle YOC or COY. Similarly, I can prove these two triangles also and I can show that angle COQ is equal to twice angle COB. Correct? Okay. Sum of, okay. So, what will happen? Uh, sum of all the three angles is how much? 180 degree. So, twice angle COA plus twice angle COB is equal to 180 degree. So, 2 will go that side means angle COA plus angle COB will be equal to 180 by 2 that is equal to 90 degree you will get it. So, what we wanted to, uh, and you can see, COA plus COB is nothing but it is angle AOB. So, you got it as angle AOB is equal to 90 degree. So, first what we are going to take, triangle POA and triangle AOC. So, in triangle POA and triangle AOC. What we are going to prove that angle OPY in triangle, so OPA, so angle OPA is equal to angle OCA is equal to angle OCA. Reason, radius and tangent are perpendicular to each other. Then, hypotenuse OA is equal to OA common side and it is a common hypotenuse also. OC is equal to OP. OC is equal to OP reason radii. So what happened there for triangle POA congruent to triangle AOC. So what happened Angle POA is equal to angle AOC. So, angle POA is equal to angle AOC. Now, you can see that angle POA and angle AOC together you will get it as angle POC. Got it out. So, we can prove that uh, angle POC is equal to twice angle AOC. So, therefore, angle so, what we are going to say that, so you can see here, POA <coughs> is equal to AOC, that means angle POC is equal to twice angle AOC. So, therefore, angle POC is equal to twice angle AOC. Next, similarly, we can show another triangle, triangle BOQ and triangle BOC. So, in triangle BOQ and triangle BOC. So, which angle? Angle OQB and angle OCB. So, angle OQB is equal to angle OCB is equal to 90 degree. Same. Radius tangent. Radius tangent. Then, OB is equal to OB, the common hypotenuse. So, it is common side. Correct. Then, which is the other side? OQ is equal to OC. OQ is equal to OC. Radii of the same circle are equal. Therefore, what happened? Angle Q. 
O B is equal to angle B O C. Therefore, angle Q O B is equal to angle B O C. That means angle Q O C I can write it down as therefore angle Q O C is equal to angle twice angle B O C. Twice angle B O C. Take this as equation number one and take this as equation number two. Now let us see that PQ is the line OY, OC, OB are the line drawn to it. So you can see that angle POQ will become 180 degree. That means angle POA plus angle AOC plus angle COB plus angle BOQ is equal to what? 180 degree. We can write it down. So that's what we are going to write it down now. Angle POA plus angle AOC plus angle COB plus angle BOQ is equal to 180 degree. Now look over, uh, look over here that is angle POA and angle AOC both together we get it as angle water. So what it is? So PO. So we can write it down. POA and AOC both are equal. So we can write it down as twice angle AOC plus COB and QOB are equal. So we can write it down as twice angle COB is equal to 180 degree. Two will take out common. So angle AOC plus angle COB is equal to 180 degree. So 2 if it goes on the right hand side, angle AOC plus angle COB is equal to 180 degree by 2. So you will get it as 90 degree. Now see, angle AOC plus angle COB is nothing but it is angle AOB. So therefore, angle AOB is equal to 90 degree. This is how you prove that angle AOB is 90 degree. I will explain you the second time how we got angle AOB is equal to 90 degree. Now you can see in the diagram x, y, x dash, y dash. They are the two tangents at point P and at point Q. So x, y and x dash are the two tangents at P and Q. For which circle? For the circle with center O. So for the circle with center O. There is one more tangent. AB is the third tangent to the same circle. Same circle at C. At C. But this tangent is touching. So touches tangent XY. So the tangent uh, AB tangent touches XY at A. And the same AB tangent touches X dash Y dash at B. So AB is the tangent with point of contact C. What we have to prove? Angle AOB is equal to 90 degree. So angle AOB is equal to 90 degree. Proof. We will take two triangles and we will prove it as congruent. Which triangle? POA. Which is another triangle AOC. We are, we are going to take right angle hypotenuse and side postulate to prove that they are congruent. So right angle. Angle OPA. So angle OPA is equal to angle OCA. Angle OCA. Okay. Why? Because the radius and the tangent are perpendicular. The radius and the tangent are perpendicular. And both are 90 degrees. So they are equal. Next. OA is the hypotenuse. Which is the hypotenuse I told you? The side opposite to the right angle. So for angle P, OA is the hypotenuse. For angle C, OA is the hypotenuse. And in a triangle, if the sides are, uh, if the sides becomes common, they became, they become equal. So OA is equal to OA. OA is equal to OA because it is a common side. So right angle is over. Hypotenuse over. What we have to take now? Other side. Which is the other side? OP. It is the radius of the circle. OC. It is the radius of the circle. So OP is equal to OC. 
OP is equal to OC. Means what? Radii of the same circle. Therefore, triangle POA. Triangle POA. Triangle AOC. Triangle AOC became congruent. So what happened that due to the congruency, angle POA will become equal to angle AOC because they are common parts in the congruent triangles. So angle POA is equal to angle AOC. So angle POA is equal to angle AOC. You can see uh, angle POA and angle AOC is made up of uh, both together will give the angle POC. So angle POC you can write it down as twice angle AOC. Similarly, we will take the next two triangles. That is triangle BOC and BOQ. So what that is your BOQ and triangle BOC. Here also angle OQB is equal to angle OCB. Why? Because OQ is the tangent. X, uh, OQ is sorry, OQ is the radius. X dash Y dash is a tangent. Radius and tangent are perpendicular. So I got it 90 degrees. Similarly over here. OC is the radius, AB is the tangent, so OC is perpendicular to AB, so angle OCB became 90 degree. Therefore, angle OQB is equal to angle OCB is equal to 90 degree. So, right angle we got. Hypotenuse. If angle C is 90 degree, angle Q is 90 degree, for both the triangles, OB will become the common side which is the hypotenuse. So OB is equal to OB because it is a common side. You can see here OC and OQ are the radius. So OC is equal to OQ, radii of the same circle. Therefore, the two triangles became congruent. Which two triangles? Triangle BOC, congruent to triangle BOQ. That is what we have written over here. When they become congruent, what will happen? What will happen at that time? Angle QOB will become equal to angle BOC or angle QOC is equal to twice angle BOC. That is what we have written over here. There. Now what we will do? You can see here. PQ is a straight line. OY, OC and OB are the rays standing on a straight line. In A standard we have learned that on a straight line when the rays are standing, the sum of all the angles made by the rays on the straight line will become 180 degree. So angle POA, angle POA, angle AOC, angle AOC, angle COB, angle COB, angle BOQ, angle BOQ, all together is 180 degree. Now, angle POA is equal to angle AOC means I can write it down as twice angle AOC, twice angle AOC. Then, angle COB and angle BOQ together uh, is what it is. They both are equal means I can write it down as twice angle BOC. So now what happens is that twice angle AOC plus twice angle COB is equal to 180 degrees. The 2 is common. So I will take 2 common. So angle AOC plus angle COB. Angle AOC plus angle COB is equal to 180 degree angle. 2 if I take on the right hand side, it will go in the denominator. So angle AOC plus angle COB is equal to 180 by 2 is equal to 90 degree. In the figure you can see angle AOC plus angle COB you will get the angle AOB. Therefore angle AOB is equal to 90 degree. This is how we proved the sum number 9. Angle AOB is equal to 90 degree. Today I will stop over here. The remaining sums that is 4 sums are there that I will do tomorrow. So for NCRT Max 10 standard, class 10 standard. Tomorrow if I complete that remaining sums, the circus will be over. So, bye children. Thank you children.